This is Chris Morrow at Comic-Con at Home, and my home is in sunny San Diego. I'm talking to the San Diego Partnership. Hi, please introduce yourself and tell me where your home is. Hi, good morning. Uh, Alonzo Vivas with the Downtown San Diego Partnership Clean and Safe Program. I'm actually here in my, uh, my office here in downtown San Diego uh, at 6 and C Street. And my name is Sarah Brothers. I'm Director of Marketing and Communications for the Downtown San Diego Partnership. Um, and I'm not doing this, this interview from a skyline in the evening. Um, I'm actually in my apartment in the Cortez neighborhood of downtown. I wanted to talk to you about Comic-Con and San Diego Partnership. You're the ones that clean up after Comic-Con. So let's talk about some numbers in the past years of how much trash and what's involved in the cleanup. For starters, you know, besides I think just cleaning after Comic-Con, uh, we're also cleaning during Comic-Con. So we're, we're really there before Comic-Con even starts, during Comic-Con and after Comic-Con. So we're really there for the whole thing from A to Z. Um, and I think, I think just being there is an opportunity for our staff to really highlight the amazing work they do every single day. Um, and every single year, we always improve in our statistics, whether that's, you know, the, the types of receptacles that we, that we clean, uh, the amount of trash that we pick up, uh, we're always increasing kind of our efficiency. Um, and the other thing that we do really well is work directly with Comic-Con, as well as some of the, the, the folks that are kind of in the general area. Because uh, I think we all have a, a role to play, right, when it keeps it, keeping downtown looking clean and safe. So we definitely do a lot of collaboration with, um, with, with the city and some of the folks that are part of Comic-Con to make sure that the city is looking nice and clean. Do you have any um, facts and figures for us about how many tons of trash that Comic-Con has? Yeah, so every year um, those numbers have been increasing uh, little by little. Uh, I think the last time that we um, ran those numbers, we did a little bit over 30 tons of, uh, of trash that were collected during Comic-Con. So I think when we first started uh, kind of tracking those numbers, uh, we were somewhere in the teens. And then every year we've been just kind of increasing uh, little by little. So this, the San Diego Partnership, you've, you've been around for over 20 years. And if you can kind of talk about what you do. The, so the Downtown Partnership has, has its roots back from the, from the 1950s. Uh, the, the Property Business Improvement District, which is also known as a clean and safe program for a lot of folks here in, in the community, uh, was actually founded in 2000. Um, and so we've been around now for 20. We actually just celebrated uh, our 20th anniversary this month. Um, servicing downtown San Diego. You also partnered with the San Diego residents that put the San Diego shrine, Comic-Con shrine together. While it does seem easy, there's definitely a lot of work involved on the, on the pre setup and even afterwards, just a little things like, not to get too much into the weeds, but um, you know, we obviously want to care about the environment. So when we do a setup like what you saw this morning, where we pressure wash the sidewalk, uh, we also uh, make sure that none of the water that's being pressure washed, it's all, it's all being collected. It's not going to the storm drain. Uh, we make sure that we have wet caution signs to make sure that the area is safe for pedestrians and things like that. So there's definitely a lot of um, work that's involved in making sure that um, everyone's um, kept safe and the environment is kept safe while still trying to achieve the goal, which is making sure that the area is nice and clean for everyone. And that's something that we do every day. I mean, our, our amazing team is out there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So what you saw today at six or seven in the morning is something that's happening around the clock. San Diego downtown, it seems like there's a trash can on every corner. Is that you guys too? That's a hundred percent us, absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we're very fortunate to partner with the city of San Diego. Um, they, they also help support us in those efforts. But yes, uh, we are responsible for a little bit over 500 trash receptacles throughout the downtown area. Um, it's about a little bit, it's around 275 blocks, about almost 1.2 square miles of services that we provide. And within, within that geographic area uh, exists six neighborhoods. And within each of those six neighborhoods, uh, there are trash receptacles. Um, I don't want to say in every single corner, but almost every single corner you'll see one. How difficult was it the processes to develop for the pandemic? You know, we're, we're keeping everyone safe. So we, we, we worked all the logistics and all the policies around that. So it's like, how do we continue to um, provide excellent service to downtown while still keeping everyone safe? And those things included, you know, doubling the amount of uh, protective gear that the staff has, uh, face masks, uh, gloves, 
um, making sure that a lot of the stuff that are high touch points for pedestrians is being maintained uh, a lot more often. So the trash cans. We also service over 200 dog stations throughout downtown San Diego, making, making sure those are also being wiped down. Uh, sometimes the cross, you'll see certain sidewalks in downtown will have cross walk buttons, making sure that those are also being wiped down a little bit more often while they're down there. So it's just been, you know, every, it's, it feels like almost almost every day, but uh, every time we do a check-in, we're always just kind of a re readjusting our logistics um, dur during this time. The last question, do you have any advice for residents of other cities of how they can emulate what the San Diego Partnership is doing and maybe have something like that in their city? You know, that's a really good question. I was fortunate enough uh, to travel last year and represent the organization down in Baltimore. Um, so every year there's uh, what's called an International uh, Downtown Association. And uh, it was my very first time um, going to one of those. And it was, it was very interesting to talk to other, to other folks um, that also have kind of clean and safe programs right within their city. So New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Dallas, but there were also a lot of small towns that were there that were represented. And across the board, it was, it was essentially, we, we kind of all came to the conclusion that, um, you know, it takes more than just one organization to keep, to keep a, a, an area like downtown looking clean and safe, that it's really a collective effort between business owners, residents, city officials, and organizations like us to, to work collectively uh, towards achieving that. So one of the things I think that we're very, really good at um, is really communicating with our stakeholders. Um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of folks in downtown that represent maybe their own neighborhood, whether that's a business improvement district, um, a residence group, um, or whatever it is that that is. We work we work hand in hand with them uh, in trying to support their efforts. Um, Sarah can probably speak a little bit more on some of the, 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 the recent things that we've been working on, like curbside San Diego and so forth, um, because it really is more than just um, being out there with the broom and a dustpan. A lot, of these, a lot of these efforts that the partnership does to make sure that, clean and, that, down, that downtown is looking clean and safe is also activation, right? It's also placemaking. It's also beautification. Those type of efforts, when you activate an area, um, that also has a positive impact on that environment and it actually keeps it clean without the necessity of having additional folks having to clean it based on, on activation. Sarah, did you want to say something about that? No, I think Alonzo really hit it on the head. I mean, uh, the Clean and Safe program, its, it's primary mission is to keep downtown clean and safe, and that comes in a variety of ways. And I think the, the biggest nod that I want to give to Alonzo and his team is the flexibility that they've demonstrated in response to COVID-19. I mean, these months have been, you know, they're just, they're a constant surprise, and they are always there to adapt and be flexible to meet the community's needs, whether that's, you know, adding additional pressure washing schedules into their fiscal year budget for, um, 2021 or you know as we discussed this morning um, taking an opportunity of you know seeing additional boarding going up on businesses who have to be temporarily closed and turning it into an opportunity for public art I mean that whole notion of placemaking is run through the clean and safe program um, and it's work that you know we are very and downtown is very lucky to have Alonso and his team at the helm of doing Thank you so much. This is Chris Morrow, Comic-Con at Home, and thank you, San Diego Partnership, for making downtown San Diego beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. San Diego!